This was just about that gum crazy. We walked out here to our little spot on the creek. We got a boat ramp that is kind of covered in mud and stuff. The little A-frame up there on top. But this fish blew out of the hole. And you, I wish I had it on video. Oh yeah, I pushed him up on, I mean, yeah, he got like, lucky and pushed him up on the bank. Happened to catch him, because when they're blowing out of the hole, I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all. If they can yeah. get their nose under you, they're leaving here. They're you leaving. can't stop them. They're leaving. I'm going to turn this one loose. Yeah, we're going to turn that one loose. See if there's a better one in the hole. But that, that was crazy. I mean, pushed yeah. him up on the bank and yeah. caught him. That right there is what we keep our fish in. Keep them alive, just if y'all are wondering. Yeah, in case we get hungry. Yeah, because we catch fish off this that right there yep that's crazy though yep. right now we're catching fish under boat ramps um this is how we started out we started fishing boat ramps you can fish natural holes in the bank too but we mostly put out boxes so there's less competition yep. which we've had that's people crazy isn't it? yeah i mean he shot out look like a watermelon seed dude he's shot out and i just I mean, if it wasn't for all of this, though, it wouldn't have never happened. But just shove him up on the bank and grabbed him. Yeah, that was cool. Crazy. Beautiful day, though. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Yep, and we got holes. So We got, what, three holes in this ramp? Yep. Now, now yesterday, caught a 25 and probably a 32, something like that, 32-pounder mm -hmm. out of that same hole. Yeah. Yep. And that's a different fish. Yeah, that's a different fish that was in there. Which Paul was up there fishing yesterday and watched a flathead swim in the hole pretty much. And that was probably him. And then had another one on the end right here. Another good one. Another good fish. Yeah. We was thinking maybe 40 or something. So me and Hannah figured we'd come down here. I got entirely too cold though yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yesterday it was overcast and it was cold. And this, this, this creek's a lot colder than... The lakes are yeah. right now so yeah. well it's coming out the bottom of the dam so it's, yeah it's and i was cold. freezing yeah that's All the right. coldest i've been this year yeah it was right. right here i got in here for just a little bit and got good and skin up <laughs> yeah i'm talking about got cut up didn't have no gloves with a little all. fish and we said dang that other fish we yeah. got tired of messing with him trying to get him close enough to grab him but we're about to try it again today while the sun is out because yeah. that makes stuff a lot better when you're not freezing to death. I but, got gloves on too, so. Yeah, we gonna try to catch fish and I'm gonna put the phone down so I can help and block some holes and stuff. Yeah. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. What did he say? I don't know, but that son of a gun's gonna cut me all to pieces. You don't need to get cut again, dude. <sighs> you know what? God, it's 20 anyway. Don't try not to get cut up. I know. Go in the way I go. Yeah, we'll go in the way. Fish, we've been. No, 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 no. We've been after that thing. Oh, skin up thing. <laughs> bedding under that boat ramp. Whew. At the bedding source. That concrete mess them up. Golly. We finally got You know, for all the trouble we went through with that fish, <laughs> we, might, we, we might need to eat him. <laughs> I'm telling you, he do look rough, don't he? Yeah. Right, we ought to eat that one. I don't know. Let's you look like one. you might catch leprosy from that fish. <laughs> <laughs> look, is that from the ramp? Yeah. Ooh, buddy. Yeah, let's eat that one. Woo. That's a male, too. Yep. And his eyes is messed up and everything. So we're going to eat that fish right there. He's had hard times. Yeah, and he's cutting me all to pieces. Not head. But we'll eat this. Bed and sores. Yeah. Please don't. Well, no more. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Let's go clean the fish. Actually, let's go get something to eat. Because <laughs> I don't. I can't wait long enough to clean the fish and cook it. I need food like right now. Me too. Oh, that's so Appreciate y'all. All right, so just a disclaimer here. We have killed the fish. Not gonna go into details. We didn't scratch up his head like that. That's bed and sores from the boat ramp. Yeah. But when we're cleaning him, because he's a fish, he might jump around and stuff, but I mean, yeah. the fish is dead. So yeah. he's not suffering or none of that like we've been asked about before. Yep, just nervous. So, 
caught him right there. Yeah, we caught him in the backyard. Yeah. We caught a bunch of them out of that ramp, but uh, this one, this was an old battle axe right here, all skin up and beat up, and it's a male, so. Uh, and he's got a, he's only got one eye. Yeah. His face is all chewed up. He's just a rough looking fish. Yeah, and he's a little thin, so. And it's a male, so yeah. we gonna eat him. It's a good candidate for. Yeah. For the fish fry. Which cold steel is that? Oh, the fin wolf, yeah. Yep, cold steel fin wolf. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. yep. fine little knife right there. All right, so we always cut the tail off and let them bleed. People ask if these bigger fish are good, and they are if you clean them right. So cut the tail off, let him bleed, and then he's going to cut the fillets and the belly meat out. And then after he does that, I'm going to cut all the red off the meat, and that takes a lot of the fishy taste out on these bigger fish. So they Let's still taste real good. Yeah, he's bleeding out pretty good. But he skint me up pretty good. He had me bleeding too. So. Yeah. But he's fixed to pay the feed bill right now. Yeah, just did this, just got all this done today, yeah. so get to try it out. Best part of the flathead is that part of belly, belly the meat belly right meat. there. Yeah, it's going to be the best part. <laughs> Next door neighbor is... uh. So, for some reason, his phone cut off there mid whatever, but. We're back at it again. Back at it. No biggie. That's what I get for not paying attention. There it is. Get out. Yeah. I'm so hungry. That surprises you. <laughs> she hasn't had anything to eat today. And I really had. I don't know. That's what I was talking about. Eating. Yeah. That's not. It's not good. Oh. When you're cleaning these things right here, you need to keep them on ice. I'm talking about they sour. This stuff will spoil so fast. Yeah. Are you going to do the video with you uh, getting the... Cutting all the red off. Yep. Yeah. Really, they, they do better. They'll uh, fillet better even if they're cold. But this one's straight out of the river. Yeah. But y'all look at that right there. That's the good stuff. No bones in any of this. I'm cutting outside the bone, so. That gonna be good and some grease. Yeah. Yep. That'll be a pile of meat, too. Can you see it? You just cut right in there. Belly meat. The nugget. Thick. Thick, thick. Right down that backbone. Cutting the back straps out of a deer. Yeah. This part is anyway.
And there you have it. None to it. None to it. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Now I'm about to cut the red off.